Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. I hope that you are all doing well. So we're going to jump right into these messages. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, time period August 3rd through the 17th. Please remember, we all have masculine and feminine energies. All right, we're ready to go. Air element, breath, breath work, getting outside, fresh air. <laughs> the mind, of course, is part of that as well. All right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, source coming out here right out the gate. Beautiful. This is your present. What's above? Interesting. This is like, you know, dark night of the soul kind of a thing. And of course, this could just represent, you know, this is very much the environment that you're in more than anything. I, I, I feel from these cards, just as a general rule. And below the ocean, the depths. You might be going um, into your shadow a bit. You know, of course, you see in this card, he's going towards the light. He might be in the shadow, but he's going towards the light. And even this figure here, you know, it kind of looks like angel wings, right? So in your emotions, very connected with source. What's at the bottom? Wow, the cave. Wow. Y'all are going deep, deep, very connected to source. Beautiful. Let me look at these, where they're situated. Yeah, that's fine, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get some more. It's interesting that it shows these two decks. They're probably my most um, abstract, right? Very artistic decks. Looks like there was a reason for that. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle here for Sagittarius. All right. You know when you're ready, Spirit. There we go. Father of Coins came out. So grounded. Right, we have a... Um, so far, we have Earth on the table. We have, and that, that Father of Coins. We have the air element came out and water. Mm, this could very well, you know, Source is, is very fiery energy. So yeah, we've got all of the elements represented thus far. Pretty cool. All right, let's. <clears throat> So very balanced, that's, you know, when we um, are balanced like that, when we've mastered the elements, that is when we come into magician energy, right? Mother of feathers. Okay. Uh-huh, there's the magician, I told you. <laughs> that is awesome, that is awesome. I knew it. I could feel that magician energy coming out. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. And the two of flames in the underlying, beautiful. And this depiction is just, yeah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. God, I love this, okay. Let's keep going. Let's see what comes up in the air element. Hmm, nine of coins. So independent thinking um, and communicating those those um, thoughts, right? Those independent, this is a very Aquarian energy right here with the nine of coins in the air element, which is our communication, our thoughts. Nice. What's going on in fire? Ace of coins. Ooh. So the start is something new here. 
and it's touching the magic card wow and the mother of feathers is here so it's like you know this is thinking something into being beautiful all right six of feathers is in the um, earth element this would be possibly moving right of course uh, this six of feathers is a little bit different but Let's see what else it touches it. But golly, wow. I mean, this imagery here is really gorgeous. Okay. And this is your relationships. Three of coins. Yeah. Okay. So this is, yeah, taking on a little bit of this, right? Collaborative. Um, getting together with someone and kind of making plans, right? Getting different viewpoints and that helps everything come to a point and weave this plan for the future. The three of coins over here in the relationship, which is definitely collaborative, I feel. This new start, very grounded, beautiful. Okay, something important from the past, the Empress. Ooh, okay. And, you know, this is very um, vaginal here, right? It's um, got this, uh, you know, very creator energy along with this magician here. In the future, Six of Cups. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. This is such a beautiful reading. What do we have at the bottom? Six of coins. Wow. Could it get any more beautiful? Like this is really gorgeous energy. Wow. That is so, oh, nine of cups is underneath that. Four of coins, which with this, I'm, I'm really getting more of, um, yeah, just stability, right? Because this is earth. Um, sandwiching, sandwiching the nine of cups here. Earth, water, earth, water. That's beautiful. And renewal. Oh, my God. That's just... Okay, I'm going to stop. This is just gorgeous. I don't know if I can say that enough. <laughs> All right, so if things look a little different, uh, it's because a cat came along and knocked over everything. It's the second time this has happened. <laughs> the cats have been really stirred up, so I feel like this period is going to be very energetic. And I mean, like you can see that here. You know, there's a lot of strong energy here. It's beautiful. Um... And this whole thing just screams manifestation. It really does. Like this mother of feathers here with source. Oh uh, yeah, this is like, of course, this is your present. And it's like, you see everything so clearly. There's this, um, you know, a flash of, of light, of recognition. I mean, this even has, if you can see, I'm trying to get this to hit, light to hit it just so, but you can see this little, you know, it's like the um, pupil here, right? And then the iris, and it, you know, this concentric, stuff that's going out and of course this illumination which we see here with the six of feathers right these so they're and they're you know touching each other something else i mean like this is kind of crazy so the numbers that we have on the board we have some ones here but, okay, yeah, ones, and then we have two threes, 
two sixes with another six on the bottom here, and the nine under that, right? We have a nine. And then we have two twos. But then these, three, one, six, one. So we have threes, sixes, and nines. And those are like um, Tesla, the number 369 was super important for him, but they're all multiples of three. <clears throat> And that's a magical number, right? <clears throat> and then, of course, there's this balance thing that's coming in. These new beginnings, this, like, creation that you're cre you're doing. I mean, like, it's just all over it. I mean, like, this empress is totally, and this is coming, you know, right out of her um, crown chakra here. And I think this is, like, a passion fruit, possibly, you know, so there's this passion here. Mm. I see like a figure up here. It almost looks like he's praying. Looks like a, a, a male to me. Hmm. At any rate, There's this, you know, connection with earth and, you know, very connected with earth here, too. There's this passion. There's this creative energy. You know, you really poured into something, whether it was conscious or subconscious. Maybe a little bit of both, right? You were creating something. And then as we move, you know, it's like this flash of insight that you get. You see something so clearly all of a sudden. And, you know, in this right here, I'm just feeling like, yeah, maybe you are, you know, because I see you as the magician. So the fact that this showed up here and music comes into this, this is supposed to be like the, um, it kind of looks like a mask. It's also um, the sitar. And there's this moon kind of aspect to it, too, I feel. <clears throat> but so music and, and chanting might, you know, help with this. Music is, you know, of course, so healing. At any rate, you know that there are some things that you have to walk away from, some shadows that, you know, some fears that you need to face in order to finish this creation, right? To bring this into reality, right? This is, I feel like you're going to know exactly what to do because um, of this source here. This It's sitting right on top of this mother of feathers, you know, which is the queen of swords, of course. And then in your subconscious, I feel like you're having dreams. You're probably um, connecting with your person, right? You're like, I do get a twin flame vibe from all of this with all the, the magic, the three, six, nine, even. And of course, this two of flames and this is the um, two of wands. But look at this in this depiction we see the masculine and the feminine this balancing between the sun and the moon once again masculine and feminine and you know there's a temperance kind of feel here right with the water and the fire perfectly balanced and it's a, it's part of this creation right the fact that we have these ones at the ends of this that are connecting to this ace of coins 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 oh, oh, that's <laughs> and even this is a 66 right wow that's amazing so yeah your dreams are telling you and i feel like your subconscious is just so connected like you're probably connecting with your person um psychically you know, 
It's really gorgeous. And even this nine of coins feels like, you know, this manifestation. It's like you dropped the stone into, you know, a pool of water and yet you watch the rings go out. And of course, this is figuratively watched the ripples and you're just like you dropped this wish right this this step that you took i feel like this was a step towards independence um but of course this is in your you know community and this could be something that you communicated to someone and you just you know dropped that hint that first step you know whatever it may be and you know you knew as soon as you said it as soon as you thought it right that that was going to become reality right because this is connected here yeah this could definitely be some kind of communication with someone towards moving towards independence right which here in the six of cups you know i, I see the figure of you know a horse in here right kind of like right here's the head yeah and this is like the legs of course it's it's abstract right here's the front legs all right even a seahorse into a horse at any, any rate i feel like i see a horse in there and of course the horse is connected with freedom and i feel like you know that was a big um theme i do believe from last time this oh kitty cats you're killing me they've been like i usually don't have tro you know they they do their own thing and here lately <laughs> this this time around they've really been wanting to be a part of it it's weird <laughs> at any rate yeah i feel like you're just it's like you're just watching the creation form right you just know you have this knowing and you know this is the fire element this is um where you're taking action uh your creative endeavors right so you're starting something new very concrete thing and i mean this is something that you you know this is part of this vision here because look at how these uh mimic each other it's just wild And once again, I see someone, you know, this looks like a figure to me on their knees, like, you know, and of course it, they have this really high hair here, is <laughs> what I want to call it. So this is that connection to source, right? You're, you're praying, you're, you're chanting, you're, you're doing, you know, whatever it is that you do to bring this. This is something that you really, you know, desire. This is something you've been, you know, and it's like, you know, this is where we see um, the fire here is in the subconscious. It's like you really desire this, but you're trying to keep that, you know, kind of on lockdown, <laughs> right? You're trying to temper it. Subconsciously, of course, this isn't a conscious effort, but yeah, then we have in our relationships, our emotions, the three of coins. And, you know, I just love, you know, this is the ohm, the symbol for ohm here. So very grounded, very connected with spirit, like, I, you know, which we're seeing here. And uh, yeah, you know, the Three of Coins is about collaboration, right? Connecting with another human being. And, you know, I love how we see this one footprint here, and then we see two here. And we even see two sets of handprints here, which, you know, get, and we see this little, you know, the spiral 
here. Fibonacci, you know. And so, you know, there's this feeling of a second person definitely in this. And this is like the beginnings of that, right? This is multiplied by two, right? Three of coins multiplied by the two of wands here, source here. And we get the six, we get two people that are very connected. Mondi, body, mind, spirit, right? They've, they're very spiritual, very self-mastery, right? These are two evolved people. And that leads us into the future, right? The Six of Cups, this is that soulmate. Love it, yeah. If not, this is, I mean, like, this is freedom. This is returning to that childlike state of wonder, right? The Six of Cups is really beautiful energy. But I definitely feel like this is moving towards union with a soulmate. And I feel like, you know, I don't even feel like there's anything else that needs to be said. This is just, I guess, that, you know, I do see with Source here, the Ace of Coins with this kind of, you know, we see the, the snake head here. There could be, and the magic, you know, all of this could very well be about um, someone's Kundalini awakening or just an awakening process doesn't have to be. I do see Kundalini here as well, though. All right. All right, let's get a piece of art. We will then get the chakra card and the artist card. Then we'll get closing guidance, and then we'll take a very quick look at the underlying energies all together. All right, what do we have for Sag? I'm gonna go towards the beginning here, to the right. Oh, the open window. Leo got this last time, you know, and that air element coming out in the beginning, right? Get some fresh air, and they also, there was this message of, you know, connecting with, which, you know, maybe that is a message here. Um, Source is trying to get through, so open up the window, right? Pay attention. And there's just this beautiful, like, open energy. I love it. And we have across the way here, this port, right, with all these ships coming in. Ships are coming in, right? Beautiful, okay. Let's get a chakra card. Gosh, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. Yeah, you know that this is even like balanced here, right? Just the immense brightness here and then the the darkness here it's like you know and that is you know all this balance is what brings about the magic i love it i love it all right <laughs> what chakra needs the most attention from sagittarius The crown chakra, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I, I, that cat got dirt. <laughs> I always say, you better be glad I love you. <laughs> There's another three. 
That is nuts. This time it's got a zero on it, which is all about possibility, right? And it kind of, ah, look, we've got the ohm represented again here. And even the number 30 looks like the ohm symbol. Wow. That super connection. That is like, and you know, that I am presence. That is like, you are becoming, you know, we are one with the universe. We are like gods and goddesses in our own rights. I love that. And at the bottom, we have another three. <laughs> Nurturing. So, you know, make that grounding, right? When we reach up into the heavens, we want to make sure we're grounding as well. That's what brings it into the earth, right? Whatever it is that we're trying to manifest here, we ground it. We bring it into reality by grounding. Beautiful. So take good care of yourself. All right, yeah. I want to get... Oh, yeah, we've got to get the artist card, too. What artist something for Sagittarius. My intention with this artist card is that it does have something to teach you outside of this reading as well. If you so choose to look up the artist, right, you can look at their lives. Wow. We've got Charles and Ray Eames, which is my counterpart card in this deck, and Henri Matisse. And it's an Unleash the Beast Within, Productivity Even in Pajamas, Sketch Boldly and Paint with a Big Stick. <laughs> that paint with a big stick, you know, just it gives me this, you know, magician kind of vibes. It kind of, you know, with the Unleash the Beast Within, there is that passionate side to that as well, right? Which is, um, yeah. Beautiful. Um, okay. Let's see what comes out for you. Look up the, their work. Look up their lives. Whatever you're drawn to. Alright. There we go. We have Grayson Perry at the bottom of the deck. And who did we get? Ah! John Lennon. This is perfect. So we have... Not everything you see is a mirage. I'm gonna hold these up together. Um, as we do have this peace thing up here, I feel like it is kind of connected. <sighs> uh, not everything you hear is a lie. If you enjoy wasting time, then it isn't wasted. Peace is the only thing worth hoping for. And, you know, we have the submarine here, which, and love, all of these, you know, the Ten of Cups kind of feel here. But, you know, the, su the subconscious is really like, it's, it's going right over his heart space here. He's got these yellow glasses on. So there's this, you know, stay optimistic. And I feel like you just are optimistic. I think you're seeing the world through, you know, very optimistic eyes during this period. I think it's really beautiful. Uh, um, this not everything you see is mirage, not everything you hear is a lie. That is also talking about, once again, the subconscious here, this connection that you have with your person, right? We can sometimes feel like it's, you know, we question whether it's real or not, because it is like, you know, especially well, for, for everybody that's out there that's got this connection. You know, most of the time we're not in uh, contact with the person, so there's no way. And, of course, they, you know, if you were in contact with the person, are you going to say anything to them about it? It's like, um, I heard you talking to me today. <laughs> you know? So, but just, I feel like this is confirmation for you that, you know, this connection that you feel is, is true. It's real, right? All of this. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. I feel like you can see it coming. 
It's like the eyeball is just like gorgeous. Okay. We're going to get a couple cards. Okay. One more card, please, for Sagittarius. Closing guidance. Hmm. Okay, I feel like they want me to go someplace else. Um, Osar here is Osiris. And we have uh, Newt at the bottom of the deck. And she is the feminine, right? She's like the very um, beginning of time. Oh. Underneath Newt is Geb. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, in the... Uh, if I can get this out... Hey, 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 if I can get it out. Why can't I get it out? Okay. In the Egyptian, ancient Egyptian lore, right, the night sky is the feminine aspect and the earth is the masculine aspect. And, you know, Geb, as we can see here, this immense desire. He's always reaching up. He's shown like this all the time because he's forever reaching up towards his feminine. And, um,. Well, we see her kind of like shining her light upon him here. <laughs> but that's pretty amazing here. And we see this egg, right? In both of them. They are the very first, right? This is the earth and the, and the sky. See? She's, she's up here. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Just saying. Okay, so they want me to get, and I'm pulled to the Starseed Light Work Work Your Light deck. We'll get one from here. Yeah, it wasn't coming out of there. Hmm. Yeah, these little guys hang in here. They represent cows that have been um, sacrificed. So I feel like, you know, this, this dark night up here, there are things that need to be let go of, right? There are th sacrifices that, that need to be made. And, you know, and sacrifice is kind of a, a weird... Um, word to use I think like I felt like a, a prickle when I said that but just things that have to be let go of right in order to make this happen which this is you know very divine this is you know the divine is all over this okay that's good yeah the void Stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. And that is this right here too, right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. Okay. So, I want to, you know, he, there's a whole big backstory here with the Osar. I want to, um, take a look at that. It's, yeah, interesting. So, his, the divinatory meaning that they have attached to this is, 
death for resurrection, the necessity to let go of attachments, mystical revelation. And that is what we see right here. Mystical revelation, we see that the letting go, I was just talking about things be, needing to be let go of. <clears throat> this mystical revelation, you know, that is, this is the source what you get here do not doubt you know like i said i felt when i said sacrifice things need to be sacrificed i felt like this prickling like this you know it's like you were triggered by that and so you know i feel like it's just it's what is just what is necessary in order to move this forward, right? Which obviously has spirit's handprint all over it, right? The fact that this even says mystical revelation and we have source here with the queen of swords or queen of feathers, mother of feathers, I'm sorry. Um, just tells me. Yeah. This is divine absolutely divine all right let's read from the void here and i love this card you know the void is once again we see this kind of um can you see that this imagery playing over and over again here right these Looks like an eye to me, right? God. I love when spirit does that. <laughs> All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. The void. Great cosmic womb. That one is standing out to me like, you know, it's... It's in the heavens now it's it's getting you know like I said you can see it coming and you know we see that represented here as well everything and nothing exists in the void it's where all life begins and ends it's the winter and the womb the fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow comforting and intimidating freeing and daunting can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you. Regardless of whether you know what they'll one day become, you're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next, to rest, and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you to hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted for us, right beneath the surface, in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces at the end of a chapter or life phase, when we're called to let go of all that we know and identify with. When you're in the void, it can feel scary, and as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Let's take a look at these underlying energies. The cave. The great gathering. Intuitive hits, right? Newt. The great mother. Six of coins. Nurturing, communication is right underneath that. And Grayson Perry, 
Scratch at the surface until your fingers bleed. Meaning separates art from craft. Try something new the old-fashioned way. Take what resonates there. Um, Grayson Perry is a potter, right? So there's that create creator energy there. Um, he's also a, a, a male, and we see him dressed as a woman here, as a, um, a little girl even, right, with this little um, teddy bear here. So there's that nostalgia, right, connecting with your inner child. There's that masculine and feminine, that balance there. He's holding this purse. It's blue purse, right? And so, you know, we see blue here, blue here. Um, that's that higher consciousness love, right? That blue flame love that you're holding onto here, right? Whenever I see a purse like that, it's it's like it represents something that you, because our purses carry things that are important to us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Underneath is Frank Sinatra with this New York, New York. I often see this as the twin flame, a twin flame card, right? If not, then just mirroring, but um, I'm definitely seeing that here. That's awesome. And then PJ Harvey, wow. I could go on, but I won't. I'll stop here because it, she talks about redream past lives here. She's very um, watery energy for me. Okay. But yeah, it's that balance. And if these things mean something to you, then by all means, take them. You know, but once again, you know, I see this crown chakra, this kind of bright energy, right? I feel like you can feel this coming spirit, you know, even if um, this music, right? As we move through these tougher energies that we have to in order to make this happen, connect with music, move, right? Um dance even if you don't feel like you're a dancer you know this there's this movement all throughout this right these waves of energy right the waves of the ocean the waves are, are kind of carrying this this energy upwards to right to the surface oh wow i just got that wow <laughs> but you know um I'm just seeing this this need to kind of um, connect with music, with movement, in order to kind of transmute some of these darker energies. Because, you know, we do have Dark Night of the Soul. We do have the cave here, which, you know, we see the light, the end of the tunnel with both of these. And we see all these little figures standing here in this, which is about, you know, connecting with your past, right? There's this very deep um, soulmate, I mean, like numerous lives, right? Oh, wow, I put these beside each other. It's the great gathering, right? We're all gathering in the center of the earth. If you're not doing grounding exercises, I highly recommend that you do. Um, because we're all, you know, really dig those, you know, imagine your roots going down into the center of the earth. It's expanded, guys, I'm telling you. I've been, a, a couple weeks ago, I started, like, sensing, uh, or, like, I could visualize, like, this growing massive ball of uh, all the people with, that are rooting down in, right, that are awakening and uh, putting their roots into the earth and we're all connecting there and it's like it had to expand and here's a really cool thing <laughs> with that so the day that i know you know i went down in there and it had expanded like i heard in my head yeah there'll be some planetary shifts and this was like the day before yesterday or something um but that night i was sitting with my mom and she was like, look, she's usually watching all kinds of uh, um, political stuff. It drives me crazy. But she, for some reason, she went to this earthquake site. <laughs> this guy who measures earthquakes. And he was talking about how there had been all these earthquakes, like um, 
in Asia, like around some kind of um, fault line there in Asia. So, you know, I found that really, really interesting. Um, yeah. But we're connecting, right? And it's going to be, you know, it's like going to be this domino effect, I feel. All right. All of these twin flames coming together are really causing, like if we think, and maybe that's just it. Maybe we had to be in separation because if we all came together, like <laughs> really quickly and that, that energy that, you know, there wasn't that space yet. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Maybe that space opening up right because we see it here too is going to allow you know opened up some energy so that we could come together because it would have been too much too fast wow that's pretty amazing yeah even with and with these two right here sitting beside each other you know i just noticed like the little cub um for some of you you might have children and that that might be a worry here, but I feel like, you know, spirit is saying, you know, scratch at the surface, right? It doesn't have to all happen at once, but you know, it's these small steps, right? But they're going to be taken care of as well, right? They're in this protective energy here. Yeah. And also, you know, connecting with your inner child, of course, will help get through all of this. Beautiful. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, well, okay. So I have to, um, the cosmic heart was underneath, um, this card. And, you know, it's that heart space, energy, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. And that movement, like I said, you know, moving will definitely help with, with this movement through the darker times. Yeah. Okay. I will stop there, guys. I hope that this resonated. I hope it helped. And, um, yeah, until next time. Much love.